Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Europe Universalis 4 Drink of Water. Oh, water's nice. <clears throat> yeah. Could have planned that better, I guess. Alright. Let's get the show on the road with this Kazan business. Kazam. You I don't have any diplomats. I knew that. Trading in fur, yay fur! Here we've got Karakun Lu and Nogai. Religious, oh, end of religious turmoil in Norway. Okay, I was like, wait a minute, weren't they all Protestant like a few seconds ago? And yes, they are. Check it out. Super Protestantism. Except for over here. That used to be straight up Protestant right there. Better not dip, in, dip down into Novgai. We're going to have problems. Cool. Call diplomat. Recall diplomat. Two at a time. I like it. Bring it on. Okay, diplomats, do your stuff. Show superiority. We get 75% aggressive expansion, 125% prestige, 100% diplomatic power, and 100% cost for full annexation and conquest of Samara. Or if we just take Samara, it'll be 75-100-100. So we might as well do 75-125-100. To get more prestige. We don't really need need the prestige, but why not? What that's threatened? Really? Denmark, my ally, is threatened by me. Come on. Crazy guy. We're buddies. We've been buddies for a long time. And then I told you to shove it, and now we're buddies again. Okay, well, show superiority. Got to win 80% of all the battles to get a ticking war score. Go away, wait. And go. They're going to call in Chagatai. Either that or Chagatai is going to wimp out. Whoa, hello. Ship cost, yearly army tradition. As well as an additional missionary, which right now is not necessary. But we are 14, 11 years now ahead of that technology. Might as well just go for it. And we got land force limits modifier plus 50%. Next up is the manpower recovery speed 10%, and infantry cost minus 30%. Oh yeah, we're so surprised that our vassal has honored our alliance. You have no choice. Alrighty, move in. Bring it on. Yeah, this is Mikhail. Yep, Chagatai joined in. You're going to be running off to Samara because you have nowhere else to run to. Squish! Chagatai is way over there. They'll have to get... Access through no guy. Oh, we integrated Novgorod. Woot! Cleansing of heresy against Sweden, Norway. 
We got 10 prestige, 1 base tax and cargo pull, plus 31 manpower and cargo pull. Yippee! We are that much bigger now. And we have too many units. Oh, those are ships. That is also a ship. What the heck? Oh, he's in a route. Okay. Well, five of you. All right, we got it. Sweet. Yeah, pretty much get rid of. Let's take a under. 40, 15, 10. Let's get rid of those. Um, pretty much all of the infantry. Let's just go ahead and get rid of this infantry. Everyone else can hang out. Also, we have too many ships. Four too many. So these four and there. Oh my gosh, three heavy ships. I could care less. Just, I could not care less at all about naval dominance right now. Not even just a, a little bit. All the guys I'm attacking right now are all landlocked. I just don't care about naval dominance, so we're going to be disbanding these three heavy ships and one transport. Goodbye. Bye bye. And what are you? Alright, light ship. Let's get him over here. Yeah, it's a long way. He might have to just hang out. I don't think he's gonna... Yeah, it's too far away. That's way too far away. You are banished. <laughs> you get to hang out. Merchant's Suffering. Yeah, we can lose the Diplo power. Anywho, I was looking at Chagatai. They need access through No Guy. But No Guy is their enemy, and he's not going to give him access. So Kazan is pretty much on his own on this one. In that case. Siege mode activated. And there's that siege. That was awkward, I got distracted for a second. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> got a text message and it was actually freaking crazy important. I also missed a phone call from my wife. That'll bite me in the butt here in a little bit. She's one of those wives. But I love her. She's fun. You can do it! Yep, I knew it. I knew you could the whole time.
Well, we could do full annexation, or we could make them become a Russian vassal, which is cheaper, takes longer, cheaper, and no overextension. I think we'll do that. We'll do that, and, and that's it. Just money, I guess. Thank you, 218. Hot dog. This time I'm pretty sure they really are going to become our vassal. <laughs> Kazan will become a vassal of Russia. Yep. Bam. And that's how you do that. Wow, another imperial reform. How many has he done? I think three by now. Impressive to AI. All right. Well, um, <laughs> that's that's everyone. <laughs> There's no one else. I could attack the Livonian Order, I guess, but they're friends with Denmark. Sweden's a powerhouse. Sweden's all about crushing people. Man. Crimea? Oh, hello Poland that swallowed Lithuania. Oh, you don't like me very much. We need to improve relations. And also move our forces over yonder. Closer. Nothing's coming down here. Nothing. Got some peasant problems though. In really? Oh yeah, because they're converting right now. About halfway done. Where's my? There he is. 56%. Looking good. Should be done in 1524, just a couple more years, and we'll have we will have 100 percent religious unity. It's kind of a messed up way about going going about annexing somebody. Completely crush their army annex them, and then expect them to rebuild their army all over again. <laughs> yeah, alright, so you can go White Sea, I guess, because if you go Novgorod, you're gonna die. He's just kind of back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> What's the difference? Let's check it. With him in the dock, we are earning trading 10.5 from trade. Let's let the month click over. Ticking month, thank you. 10.57, apparently. Let's try that again. Ten point four six. The frick it's fluctuating so much. All right, sweet. All right, that's enough. Just stand still. Really, Crimea declared war on Kazan. All right, who's in this? Just Crimea for now. Okay, okay. Well, I guess that means. Why do I have two fleets here?
What in the world? Where did they come from? Oh, cool. Interesting. I have eight ships. One too many. You can go away, I guess. I don't really need to patrol the White Sea. Alright. I'm alright with that. <laughs> They're all just light ships anyway, just a bunch of barks. Um, now it went up! Really? I haven't even unpaused and the force limit changed? Or did it? I think I was just crazy. Dang it. Whatever, I didn't need that anyway. Okay, so bring this guy... There are any rivers? Not a freaking river in the whole place. It's our good general and everything. Denmark is in! Sweet! <laughs> Look at that. Russia, Denmark, Kazan, Norway, and Sweden versus Crimea. It's none of his friends like him. Get over here. Oh, this is going to be a big one. Oh, I intercepted an army on accident. That sucks. Alright, hurry, hurry, hurry! Hurry faster! Nah, dang it. Kazan comes over here with 900 guys. Hey guys, what's going on? Just to make sure nobody joined. Yeah, it's been too long now. You're all alone. Suck off. Recall Conquest Billy against. Who are you? Oh, check it out. They're having rebel problems. Want to be my buddy? We should be buddies. You would accept vassalization. But do I want a vassal in the landlocked in a, inside a country that doesn't like me? They wouldn't? Oh, because we're at war. Okay. I was confused. It's like They would accept vassalization, not an alliance. They are messed up. Hmm. Poland has got an attitude. We're going to have to tell them what's what. I wonder what Poland looks like military-wise. Let's check it out. The peas. Poland is not that strong, actually. I could take them. Let's offer them some vassalization when we get the chance. We have to have a royal marriage. That's why before it said that... Ah, once upon a time, I was hovering over somebody and it said you can't vassalize or something or other. It just said that they cannot go into a royal marriage. And I was getting on to a paradox about vassalization is not the same as royal marriage. But it looks like you have to have a royal marriage to vassalize. Which now helps me put the puzzle pieces together. Got to have a military alliance, a royal marriage... Relation of at least 190, same religion, and target country must be at peace. I feel like that list is a lot longer than it used to be. Neat. But do I want them to? I mean, they can't have very much. 10,000 manpower? As a one province miner? Dang. That's kind of impressive, actually. I mean, if you look at the Teutonic Order, what is what is it going to say about them? Thirteen. Wow. All right, I've been underestimating one one province miners. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? Die. 
Bye. No, stay there. Oh, good. They touched me. And everybody piled on top of me. <laughs> saw that Ottoman ship, I was like, oh, please tell me they're not coming. Oh, man. It's going down. It went down. Where are you going? Where are you going? Saratov for now. He'll be going somewhere else. Like over there. Or over there. Oh, please. Uh, you were supposed to follow him. Uh. Took their freaking sweet time in getting over there. Jeez. Okay, we're going to have to put a pause in the video. Thank you guys for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time, and we'll finish this out. Bye-bye.